monitoring and event management this is the next topic purpose to systematically observe services and service components and record and report selected changes of state identified as events there is continuous change of state in IT infrastructure but there are only selected state which is of importance or significance to be known and understood therefore only those events are observed uh, those events are recorded and reported well observation is continuous and uh, this can be done the monitoring and uh, event management can be done for infrastructure for the services for the business processes information security etc sometimes even for physical things like security entries exits it deals with uh, identifying those events categorizing them and analyzing them because some action needs to be taken based on the category and urgency of that usually categories leads, lead to urgency or priorities the information it's important under this practice to uh, record information about the event which configuration item is it happening uh, what is the current state of this CI yeah. and it needs to be provided to relevant parties because only when the the CI and its and the state of the CI is provided then the concerned person may be able to take action on that CI and uh, this information propagates to other uh, uh, practices like incident management or problem management even in service validation testing um, there may be testing happening intentionally trying to break down something in a service and an alert may notify that uh, something is being broken intentionally yeah for example netflix they use uh, tools uh, which uh, disturb the production system they do small disturbances on the production system but they get notified when they disturb the system and the uh, there is some problem uh, there is some incident or likely sudden change of state in the infrastructure then uh, that um, tool receives an event from the monitoring system and this way they do experiments with uh, by disturb disturbing production environment uh, in small ways so that major incidents can be prevented eventually Some ranges should be defined so that uh, stakeholders will know when action should be taken when a certain threshold has been breached or likely to be breached then an action can be recommended categorization is essential and normally there are three categories informational warning and exception events three types uh, without that it may be difficult to understand what action should be taken for different events for example there may be an information that a certain system is up and running yeah nothing needs to be done or there may be information that a certain transaction has happened nothing needs to be done it just need to be recorded that's all but when there's an exception which means that certain uh, incident has occurred like a storage system is full or an application has gone gone out or a network link is broken on the other hand a warning could be more about uh, a link is reach, reaching its uh, almost 95% uh, capacity and if something is not done soon then it'll go to 100 percent and maybe there will be other problems and bottlenecks so the organization needs to decide how to handle warning versus exception versus informational so different organizations have their own ways of dealing with warnings in one organization a warning event may be treated as an exception event of another organization so it's just a discipline to be maintained based on stakeholder needs practice success factors approaches as we already know the approach towards the practice is one of the key success factors how to detect events yeah. and secondly data making the monitoring data available third ensuring the detection an action of the events so firstly 
the capabilities required and the types of events to be defined secondly the detection and action taking and interpretation thirdly information to be made available we got some information coming up on these uh, psfs the first is about the approaches models for the different types of events and capabilities required establishing all those uh, approaches and models so let's look at some of the considerations so it's important to identify what is to be monitored are we going to monitor only the uh, incidents meaning a degradation of service or impact to a service are we going to monitor also things which are running okay sometimes it may be important to know that things are all right for critical systems every maybe every uh, one minute we want to know that yes this system is still working fine poll it and ask it if you are you working fine are you working fine or the system itself says yes i am fine i am fine also is it about uh, monitoring only hardware systems or also certain services and applications and uh, prioritizing what is most important to be monitored first for example a bank might have a certain trading platforms to be monitored uh, in a very uh, effective manner for this uh, it's important uh, to involve the architects because they know how the systems are designed and only they can tell us how to monitor something 